What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Clark back with another YouTube video. And today, um, it's Friday, the whole draft combine. Um, for y'all that don't know, I play at UCLA. Was fortunate to get an invite here. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna take you up through the whole little process. I was thinking about chopping it up and making a ton of videos while the whole time I was out here, but I was really just taking everything in and just wanted to go ahead and give you one full shot. Exactly how it is out here at Combine. So, um, first of all, to get it started, I came, flew out here on Sunday um, when I landed. And I'll have videos and stuff over this and it's just gonna be me talking to some. Um, hotel room was very nice when I got here. Uh, had me, where we stay by ourselves, we don't stay with people. So I had a whole room to myself, very nice, very clean. I was on the 38th floor. Um, but yeah, so it was very, very nice on uh, the whole thing. Uh, we first got here, actually, they told me we was getting per diem. I never got no per diem. I gotta ask about that. But um, we get here, they gave us our gear. I'll make a whole separate video of that. Um, you get your gear bags or whatever. So obviously it's the NBA combine shirt, um, the polos, the sweatsuits, all the stuff like you see on 2K and video games, all that type of stuff happens. So um, day two, we get up in the morning, they have breakfast, but you're busy the whole time. Um, so day two, we had like a little content circuit. So you went around, you took like your pre-draft photos. Um, you went around to different um, sponsors and stuff like Panini, Gatorade. Some guys that went with Nike. Um, Nike was here giving away the Haritos Dunks. You're giving away Panda Dunks, Kobe Grinches and all that to the guys that I guess are going to Nike. I wasn't one of those guys. Um, it was something their agents have worked out, I'm pretty sure, but um, Nike was giving away a whole bunch of bags and stuff like that. And the uh, combine testing started on Tuesday, so that's when you saw your verticals, three quarter court sprints, um, the little lane agility things, stuff like that. And some guys that were going to play, um, that didn't even play. There's some guys in there that didn't end up playing, but they were out there and actually playing three and three and four on four before like the combine scrimmages days. On Wednesday, that's when team interviews started and then games. So basically you'd wake up at like eight in the morning and you'd show up. Let me just actually just show y'all real quick. I'll just show y'all off my phone. Um, but you'd wake up at like eight in the morning I mean, from like eight to 12. If any team wanted to talk to you, they just had to schedule you and you would go in there and talk to them. So like, I don't want to show you the teams I talked to because I just don't know. But like, this is my schedule type thing. Oh, hopefully it'll focus. Yeah, you can see. And then it tells me the team, the room number, and the team obviously is over here while well, it's far away. But um, yeah, so I ended up meeting with like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I met with 14 teams while I was out here. And they really just put you in like, it's like a room. Obviously, all the furniture and stuff is removed. Some, like Houston had a big, their meeting room was huge. I didn't like compared to everybody else. And then you just sat there and had a conversation. Most of the meetings I had were all transparent. Um, you saw, I saw a lot of great basketball, Bob McAdoo, Tayshawn Prince, Jameer Nelson, Jerry West was in one of my meetings, Steve Ballmer, Brad Stevens, like um, a whole bunch of people that um, like we all watch and grow up watching and know that coach and stuff like that were actually in the meetings. Uh, they talked about whatever they want to talk about. Every kid I'm assuming is different depending on your position in the draft. But yeah, so they went ahead and did all that. That was Wednesday, Thursday, and then at after 12, I think the game started at Wednesday at 2, so it gave everybody, like all the teams and stuff, time to walk across the bridge. Like, the bridge where the games are in the hotel are connected. There's a bridge that connects them. So, like, me personally, I haven't been outside for like three days. I've been here the whole time watching basketball, interviewing, watching games. They have restaurants and everything here. And also, I really don't know the city like that, so I'm not just trying to be running around Chicago um, with by myself without really knowing where I'm at. Um, but yeah, so after you interview, most of the kids that were playing, because kids that were playing interviewed as well, um, headed over and their game started at, from two to six. And while and then after they would play, some kids had pro days. So like my trainer from back home, Sean Marshall, shout out to you, Sean. Um, he was out here and they had like Keontae Georges and some other kids in pro day at nine o'clock at night after the scrimmages. I think it was Thursday or Wednesday. So um, on Thursday, uh, I had interviews as well. I had like four on Thursday. After that, I went to the hospital because when you're here, if you've had any previous in injury, no matter if you were like 14 when you got it or 21 like me and got something recently, um, they want an x-ray and an MRI. Only problem is there's only like one machine. 
So you're there for a long time because we go in groups. So they send you like groups of five, six. So while you're out there, bro, it, you're in there for a minute. Um, like Zach Eady was in my group and you know, he's an abnormally large human being. So he took a lot longer than somebody else, a uh, normal size. So I was there at the hospital about two, three hours. Um, but I have guys like my boy Max from Pepperdine. He told me he was there five hours with his group. So you're at the hospital for a, a cool minute. Um, after that, that was um, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Um, today was pretty much the same. It was the last day of interviews. So um, and Thursday, let me rewind real quick. And th on Thursday they had games. They had games and pro days. So and the kids that you see in pro days don't mean they're necessarily at um, the camp. So just because. I, I found out like so let's say like me for example I'm I'm a draft combine kid but let's say Washington the agency I'm signed with um if they wanted to have their pro day here kids that didn't get invited to the camp can still come do their pro day here in front of scouts and GMs and all of that type of stuff which I didn't know I saw some kids that I knew weren't invited but I was kind of confused I was like maybe they got like a last second invite or something like that I really didn't know but it just turns out they're doing their pro days here in front of everybody because this is where all the teams are at and where they're going to be. Um, um, so after this, today we had interviews and stuff. Um, no no games. All that stuff's over. I think there's still pro days going on. I know a lot of teams have already started going home because next week is pro day week away. So like, for example, my team, Wasserman, they have pro days in L.A. I think it's Monday or Tuesday. I can't really remember. But GMs are going to fly out to see all the guys we have, and I mean, we have a good good group. I have Kobe Bufkin, Bryce Sensabaugh, um, Julian Strother. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else, but like, yeah, we have kids that have really good, really. Sorry, my car ran out of storage. I had to delete some old videos and stuff so I can finish this real quick. But yeah, no, so we have a good group going in LA. So teams are gonna start flying out again after they've just seen us in Chicago to watch our pro days and everything like that. So they could just get a good read. Uh, me, I have to make a decision by May 31st, which is in like 10, 11 days. Uh, I'm not leaning either way so far. A lot of things I've heard that I hear that are really good though, really inspiring. And I really just enjoying this whole thing right now. I'm still kind of living in the moment. I'm still here in Chicago because tomorrow, so Saturday and Sunday are here the days that the NBA doctors come and make sure and like follow up and check, make sure everything you had was done right. So like, let's say you had wrist surgery they made sure whoever did surgery on your wrist was right. It's, it's really not that much. Um, if you're this far, you're probably, you probably are fine but they just go ahead and make sure they cross their T's and dot their I's type thing. Um, so I fly out here on Sunday, really excited to get back home, excited to get back to work, rehabbing and all that. And yeah, so I'll show y'all all the gear and stuff that I received, I lose quite a bit. Um, when I get back home, this was a hell of an experience. Like I said, if y'all don't know me, I'm Jalen Clark to go to UCLA, as you can see right here, that's my face. And yeah, um, I'm gonna be taking y'all through this whole process. So make sure y'all like and subscribe and comment um, what else y'all wanna know about this whole NBA experience. Uh, without further ado, I'm Jay Clark and I'm out. Y'all have a blessed day, man.